Hi, I'm Suzanne. Thanks for joining me as we explore reading the Arizona Computer Science Standards. This is video two in the introduction to the K-12 Arizona Computer Science Standards series. The third video in this series will introduce you to the computer science practices. Be sure to also watch video series two and video series three. They will take a deeper dive into the computer science essential concepts and integrating computer science into all content areas. At the end of video two, you will know the five computer science essential concepts and their subconcepts. Learn the coding of the computer science standards, Observe the progression of the standards between grade levels. As working groups developed the standards, they were continually reminded of the focus of their work. The Department of Education adopts standards that determine what a student should know, but the how is left to schools and districts to decide through curriculum, resources, and instructional best practices. The computer science standards were written as content standards rather than performance objectives. Standards determine what students need to know by the end of each school year. The computer science standards also progress through grade levels resulting in an increased understanding of each concept. The computer science standards are comprised of five essential concepts supported by various subconcepts along with the computer science practices. Arizona's computer science standards are written by grade level as opposed to many other state computer science standards that are written as grade bands. Each grade, kindergarten through eight, has individual standards in each grade level. High school, grades nine through 12, were developed as a band of standards. Each essential concept is color-coded within the standards. While the order of the five essential concepts does not prescribe an instructional order, they are arranged to illustrate the movement from the physical reality of computer science to its societal impact. In addition to core concepts and subconcepts, the standards include computer science practices that outline the behaviors and ways of thinking of computationally literate students. This is the essential concept of computing systems. Within this concept, there are three subconcepts. People use computing devices to perform a variety of tasks accurately and quickly. These computing devices interpret and follow the instructions they are given literally. Hardware and software work together as a system to accomplish tasks such as sending, receiving, processing, and storing units of information. Troubleshooting complex problems involves the use of multiple sources when research, evaluating, and implementing potential solutions. Troubleshooting also relies on prior experience and knowledge. This introduces the essential concept of networking and the internet. Within this concept, there are two subconcepts. Students learn that computing devices don't operate solely on their own in isolation. Networks and devices share information and resources that are essential as part of computing to provide fast, secure communication and facilitate in innovation. This is the essential concept of data and analysis. Within this concept, there are three subconcepts. Computing devices exist to process data. The amount of digital data generated in the world is rapidly expanding and the need to effectively collect, store, process, and analyze that data is increasingly important. This shows the essential concept of algorithms and programming. Within this concept, there are five subconcepts. In this concept, the focus is on how algorithms and programming control all computing systems to help people communicate with the world in new ways and solve problems. 
This introduces the essential concept of impacts of computing. Within this concept, there are three subconcepts. Computing affects many aspects of the world at local, national, and global levels. Individuals and communities influence computing through their behaviors and cultural and social interactions. And in turn, computing can influence new cultural practices. An informed and responsible computer user understands the social implications of the digital world, including equity and access to computing. Each set of grade level standards begins with an introductory storyline outlining the general expectations for a computer science literate student at the end of each grade level. This example shows the kindergarten storyline. This diagram shows how each of the computer science standards are coded. The initial symbol indicates the grade level, in this case, kindergarten. The second set of characters identifies the concept. Here you see algorithms and programming. The third set of letters, in this case A, identifies the subconcept. And the final symbol identifies the standard number. Note there may be multiple standards within a subconcept. In addition to the standard statement, you will also see a more in-depth description of that standard along with any practices that align to the standard. Here is a representation of the individual portions of each standard for eighth grade and high school. It also highlights the fact that standards and practices may differ even though they represent the same subconcept. In this case, hardware and software. This illustrates a progression from kindergarten through second grade of the subconcept hardware and software within the essential concept of computing systems. A kindergartner learns to identify parts of hardware. He carries that knowledge to first grade where they also begin to identify various software such as games and web browsers. When that student enters second grade, they are now able to understand how both hardware and software work together to process information. This is an example of a middle school progression from sixth through eighth grade cybersecurity. In sixth grade, students identify multiple methods of encryption to secure information, such as using strong passwords. In seventh grade, students might evaluate multiple methods of encryption using different levels of complexity to hide or secure information. In eighth grade, students apply multiple methods of encryption to model the secure transmission of information looking at different levels of complexity. This shows the progression of the subconcept collection visualization and transformation within the essential concept of data analysis. This progression is an example from second grade primary to fifth grade elementary to seventh grade middle school. A second grader collects, transforms, and displays data using digital devices. Students could collect data about the weather or their favorite activity and create a chart or graph based on that data. Fifth grade students could independently collect, organize, manipulate, and present data visually through multiple representations to highlight a claim. In seventh grade, students collect data using computational tools to create models that are meaningful and useful, such as to visually support a claim. The Arizona Computer Science Standards include a comprehensive glossary in Appendix A. Appendix B includes a complete list with definitions of the practices and sub-practices. Be sure to watch video three in this series, Computer Science Practices.